Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, as I have got a slight problem actually, let's sort of look at that first of all and then we can complete that quest. One of the things we wanted to do is to make um, a centrifuge I think. So let's just have a look. What I've got a problem with is advanced circuits because I restarted the server. So we've got um, the different recipe and so instead of getting um, aluminum blend uh, ingots we're getting aluminum blend so as you can see here I've got aluminum blend so let's just uh, fix that basically what I want to do is set up a new processing record uh, no I don't actually I just want an export on this one let's cancel this off so let's just yes I know exactly what I need to do come down here go to the redstone furnace and on the redstone furnace here, I have an export bus. And at the moment, it's set to unrefined dash. So let's add a capacity card into that one. On capacity card. And also export aluminum blend here. Because now, at the moment, I've got this thing. Is, is it, we're saying, looking at the recipes here, it was trying to craft this. But it was crafting aluminum blend uh, ingots. But it was producing aluminum blend. So without that recipe, it didn't automate properly. So now it's work now it's working and it's automating properly. These will be coming through here, I guess. Indeed they are. I just picked up a some rotting flesh from somewhere or that. I'll put it in there, don't care about it. Get taken away by the system. In fact actually if I started up this today and there was a zombie sitting here in the base. Ah, it'd obviously been through the um penicillin because it was quite healthy, so it obviously got through the door somehow or other. Probably because it's night time. But I'm surprised it didn't get shot by these turrets. So look at those turrets. Yeah, it's got plenty of power in it. And so it's this one. Now, since the last episode, I've been doing some work on these. So they've been all upgraded, I think, now. So we should be able to see. Actually, I can't see it when I'm looking at them. But when you're picking them up, you'll see that they're actually producing now we look at this 500,000 RF per, per tickets using to make these circuits so they're going pretty fast as you can see <laughs> so because what I wanted to do let's go in here now we also had to get some scrap didn't we and there's got 42,000 scrap and that completes our quest I'm a scrap man so let's go and have a look at that quest first of all I think that stars align isn't it I'm a scrap man we get 30 experience for doing that one great don't need any experience but there we are and this one here is we need to make a matter fabrica fabricator and some uu matter and then we get a loot a loot chest in 64 uu matter okay so now a matter fabricator from what i remember is available from a different quest i think it's is it elements there was certainly a quest reward that we've got that will give you us, gives us a matter fabricator not that one maybe it's just crystallize nope it's not crystallize is it this one nope which one is it that gives us a matter fabricator this one here and all we have to do is submit 250 2 million, billion RF and we get a matter fabricator as a reward we unfortunately we can't do it uh, because it's broken but that's the way I would do it because I've got plenty and plenty of RF 2.73 trillion RF at the moment so I could actually simply just do it that way which is probably what I will do anyway now this is episode 100 as I said before and we're going to go and do something special today. Let's have a look at how much RF I've got. Oh yes, this is another tip from Zero Life, by the way. To use cryoflux, cryostabilized flux duct to power the lasers, especially when you make them efficiency five. So at the moment we've got in our thing here, the yeah, 2.73 trillion RF, even though it was running just a few seconds ago. It, even though it takes 500,000 from there, and we're producing 750, it does keep up quite nicely. Anyway, what I was also going to make here was one of these. So I needed the circuits for that. 
Oh, in fact, I'll put this aluminum blend over here. Don't care about that. I don't care about the scrap for the time being. I don't think. Well, I did care about these. Let's just take two of these out. Oops. And then we get an industrial centrifuge. Now, the industrial centrifuge is the thing that we... What's that one? Tech Reborn. Okay, so that therefore takes RF or something like that. Let's go and try it out and stick it down over here somewhere. I think it probably will be quite happy if we put it here. Yep, that is the one we wanted for this as well. Now, have we got a recipe somewhere? We have good, haven't we? Okay, so from mycelium you can get settings but it's into different components. 67 recipes, okay. Blaze powder will give us dark ashes from Tecraborn and sulphur. This will give us blaze powder and mag Yeah, that makes sort of sense. This one gives us recipes. What's that? Electron blend gives us gold and silver. Yeah, fair enough, as you would expect. So this basically splits things up. From that must be inverse, so you get iron, yeah? Calcite, magnesium from... What's that? Marble dust. Oh, we don't have any marble. Red rock dust, flint dust, and calcite dust. So there's a few pages of these, and you see every once in a while some interesting recipes. Well, some we can't do because we're basically breaking things down to what we had to start with. But there were some, if I remember rightly, that were quite important. Ah, yes, it was to do with these. Not for the food ones, because that'll make methane cells with chickens and stuff like that I think it was to do with the some rock that we've got an oil cell from salt sand ice will give us yeah that'll give us from a what's this one ice cell will give us high so yeah, fair enough glowstone will give us gold dust redstone and helium cells and so on and so forth. Don't want to spend all my time looking at those just now. In fact, we nearly got to the end as it happens. But if I remember rightly, this was one. Pluto surface rock will give us deuterium. Pluto subsurface rock will also give us deuterium. And Pluto rock will give us lithium cells. And this one here is an ellipse surface rock will give us wolfram cells. That's interesting. And then we're back to the beginning again. Okay. So... I think that today we're going to go and for our special 100th centenary episode, we're going to go into space again. So we'll look. I've got my rocket. I've got my warp stone. Let's go and check. That I've got some rubbish in there as well. I don't want that. I'm also going to have to check what's going on there because it's three cells which are full. Let's have a look what we've got in here. I've got one end of chest. I need more end of chest than that. I've got four waste stones, prepared those. I've got some spot chunk loaders. I've got some of those. That's fine. Let's just go downstairs again. Make sure we've got our tanks full, which I don't think I have at the moment. E. This one's not full. Let's just fill this one up first. Um, I wanted some more end of chests. I've got three prepared. I've also got two ender tanks. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get some orange dye. Which I have got. I must have got that in that. I think that's upstairs actually. We'll just make some more anyway. Let's have a look for red. Rose, rose red. We've got one of rose red. I mean yellow, dandelion yellow. Got four of those. A shapeless crafting, so we can quite happily take it off like that. Let's put one of these ender tanks down. In fact, I put two down, and it's the middle bit that we colour orange. And then when I open this up, so if I open it up, you'll see it's full of carbon. So that's the fuel that we're going to use for the um, for this uh, oh, sterling generators. To pick these up, it'll take a bit of time to break actually. 
quite a lot of time to break good so now I've got those instead of that so we've got one for the actual products okay it's night time so we'll just quickly go and have a quick sleep before daytime when we come out of here we should our oxygen tank should be now full let's get it out of here if it is it is put it into our place there let's go I think I've forgotten something nope I haven't got the fuel cells as well so when I first played galactic science it was talking about these planets and I was looking at them and I was going I don't actually see all of the planets in here let's put that on there like that let's make sure we've got fuel in here take that out because we need those two I've got a weapon that's fine good oh not enough power brilliant let's run out of power again I wonder if that's using up power as we go along tell you what we'll do put that back down again let's put beside that a sterling generator which we've got in the just upstairs oh I don't know if I've got a chat I don't know if I've got some ender chest for that that's actually not so good we better get some ender chest as well another one so I need some more rose red I'll put this one down I think I'll only have time for one journey today so if not we can always come and make some more so oh I forgot which one it is let's go and have a quick look upstairs I think it's left hand side it is left hand side good where are we here yeah. that's empty oh because I've just colored on the right hand side Okay, let's just get some bone meal. And colour the right hand side. Now that should be okay. Yep. So we've got our end of chest in there, that's fine. I think that's all we need actually. Oh actually I do need some arrows, let's get some arrows. We don't have infinity on that boat. Right, let's break this up and I can go. So the rocket should now be. F ah, it's not full, of course. Because I haven't put that. <laughs> uh, I wanted to get the sterling generator, uh, generator out of here. Let's get the sterling generator out of here. One of those will do. we can put that beside just like this no big deal and then that should give this power which it has done and let's take this again right let's get into the rocket I think we should be able to get into the rocket let's press F for fuel and the 45% loaded so as I was saying when we f I first started to play uh, galactic science I was looking for the other for the planets and you look at the planets and a lot of them are red let's go okay that's good it's gone green that's interesting 96 okay 100% full good so let's go and take off that makes a good noise so you look at me at the back there I wonder if I've got the front view no I haven't So when we get up here, we'll have a look at what planets we can go to. Shouldn't be too much longer. Wonder why you see the back your backside from here. Strange. also strange how the rocket cuts in and comes out right we've reached the top 
now you see here we've got these these so we can actually click on say Pluto and then we can click to zoom in click to, click again to zoom I think you click Pluto again and you zoom in so there's nothing there at all we'll have a look at Neptune it's got tear and you can't get there okay Uranus same again Saturn same again Jupiter now we've got three different planets going around it so we've got what have we got here that's the faster one that's uh, Io by the looks of it and then we've got Europa and then we've got Castellino I think that's how it's pronounced as they're going around here one after the other well I think we should go to Europa okay let's launch that one click again to zoom and then we should be able to launch good let's look at my oh so it's morning so that's fine oh, I've got to press space to, so I don't crash <laughs> good thing I checked that actually and what we'll do here is we'll have a reason I hope we've got a reasonably long day Four hundred. I'm going a bit slow. Probably a bit a bit faster. There we go. We have some interesting pools here. I wonder what those are. Okay, let's get out of the rocket shift, and then press F five. I think we have to press F five. Yes, and F five again. To be oh no we actually are in the right view okay let's right click this take the rocket and the launch pad fill up the two cells like that and then we can break this like this now what have we got when we bring, dig this up here hardened ice okay what have we got for uses for these things ah it's a Europa surface ice okay are they all Europa surface ice? What's this? Our oh, surface ice too. Hardened ice. Okay. What have we got down here? It's all coming back here as surface ice. Let's look at the uses of this one. If there are any. Oh well, it makes quite a lot of water. Five buckets of water for one Europa ice. Okay, in a magma group spore. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll see if we can find us somewhere to put a base down. Not too far away. There's a hill over there. I like that. As you know, I like hills. Let's get the RR pickaxe going. Now this time I didn't forget the warp stone, fortunately. <laughs> so let's just knock some of this down here like that. I probably didn't mean to do it as fast down as that, but the matter. Oh, what have we got here water. Okay. Oh yes, look at all that ice there. That's not going to help me very much, is it? So let's just put some blocks down at the bottom here. <laughs> going to put them down here. Yes, I can. Good. I don't know where I've got enough to actually build a little base in here, but we'll just try. I've got the builders. I've got the builders one. That's good. Yeah, we'll use control on that one. No shift, sorry. Okay, good. Can I use control on that? No, nope. I've run out. Have I? Good. Right. Let's put. <laughs> That's so weird. 
you'll see all that ice anyway let's put down our waystone down here which of course is in the red chest let's put it down the red chest first of all and it's up. let's put down the waystone let's put it down say here so this is ellipse isn't it I think I spelled that all wrong. Let's get my caps lock on. I think I spelled it wrong. But it doesn't matter too much. So let's get out of here that those ways. Let's put those ones back and let's get a return scroll because we need to right click this with the return scroll return scroll so we can come back here. Yeah, I yeah, don't want to do that. Activated ellipse. So I want to open this up again, put this into that. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to set down a quarry. Let's set down a quarry. So we need one quarry. All three, I want two of those. I want some markers. I've got the markers. I want one redstone torch, because we don't need more than that. I need one a sterling generator. I want and the chest good so I reckon we're going to get a lot of ice from here let's just go out say this direction this will do I think let's put down the first marker down there let's get it marked with a redstone torch so we can see where we're going let's get it back again and let's go over here now it's time of day with the midday fine so let's go and run along here very quickly look at the sun, the sun is tiny <laughs> gravity is a bit like the moon I think by the looks of it so this looks like a very watery island So where's that gone to? Has it gone down from where we are at the moment? I'm in the wrong place. Let's look down here. Oh, yes, there it is. Look. Unfortunately, I put it too low, haven't I? Oh, good. much further we've got to go it's a bit of a nuisance actually having done it too low so look if it's gone past here I think that might be it just here let's just look down here because we get some water coming through now get pushed I presume that's water Well, tell you what we'll do. I won't waste too much time with this. I've got a full inventory already. Let's go back to the previous one and put the marker down there. I don't think we need the thing desperately large. It is a bit of a nuisance not having done that. That's why our Y is 65. And the Y of this is, let's have a look at what the Y of this one is. This is the Y of this one, 63. Well, let's get over house doing that's oh, still midday that's fine these rocks can stay with me what I should have done is put down a marker let's just put down a marker for where the base is then we have an idea of roughly in fact, I'm going to put a marker down here B and I'm going to call it quarry save that 
and then we should get an idea of how far away we are from the marker when we're doing us or we can actually look at it I think on the map and that'll give me tell you when it's 256 ish we should be all right so we've gone up two gone down one so it should be just below us which it is I can see it underneath there. Let's go down here about th three or four, I think. Yeah, there we go. And I think here we'll do for the second part of this. Oh no, we're still a little bit high. So I have to find somewhere else to put the marker. Okay, well, I'm going to have to do it like this. Let's put that down as number five. And just just pull this all off, I think. Because the markers will, of course, get removed when it gets picked up. So let's just do that. It's a challenge, actually, this one. I didn't realise this would be a challenge. Good. Good. So now we need to put the marker down here like that. Oh, I can't put it down on this. Okay, so I'm going to have to break this block here. Put some more there. And that'll do. Wow. So we're 227, so we're nearly at that, at the range. So let's just uh, go back. And of course, I'll try to keep to the same level. So we don't have to do too much up and downs, because that slows us down. Ah, oh, it's Europa. <laughs> right, I have to change the name of that marker. I can do that anyway, I think. It actually makes me think, where is Ellipse? Right, okay, so we'll remove... Uh, oh, just removed the wrong one, didn't I? That's not cool. Let's get rid of that. And that. And where's the marker gone? Come back marker. Oh dear. Tell you what we'll do. We'll put down this chest here. Like that. And then we can put into this some of this rock. To get the marker back again. Oh, there it is. Now I think. Oh. I think it was here. Ha! What a good guess. So now I can pick up this one with the right tool. And we can put the quarry down. Let's put the quarry down next. So I want to put the quarry down like this, for example. Too near. Right. So that's good. So one side of the quarry, I'm going to put the one chest with orange on it. I know I'm not. I'm going to put the... <laughs> Oh, I'm not doing very well today. That needs to be two away. I'm going to put the sterling generator to it next to it, like this. So we put on top of it one of these other ones, like that. And it pulled that one in. So we need the sterling generator here. The sterling generator wants to pull from the left hand side. So it gets plenty of power. And that should be enough. What I'm going to quickly do before I forget is I'm going to press F9. Make sure we haven't got any boundaries that I don't want to see. Oh, possibly we have lots. So I'll put down a chunk loader just here, just in case. Because I'm pretty sure that the same chunk's okay. So let's come in here. don't think it's too important but we'll just do it just in case because I think this one keeps its same chunk boundary as that one so that's okay let's press F9 again let's go and dig up some more rock I want some more rock to finish off my base so to speak 
That'll do fine. I just want to basically cover, some, make sure we can get in and out without having mobs attacking us when we come back here. So let's put it down like this. Isn't it? Concentrating at the moment, right? <laughs> well, I think that's fine. So we just want one more block out of here, like that. Put this one down here. And now I should be able to right click this one again. Activated waystone ellipse, which is. Actually odd. Do I have to shift right click it? Ah yes. It's, so we actually it was a Europa. Done. Ah oh, we've done that, it deactivates it. Right click it again and it's activated. Good. So let's get our warp stone out of here and go back to moon. So next one is moon base here, and off we go. So let's have a look. I've got a f oh, actually, that's no longer full. That's interesting. Let's have a look what we're actually getting in now. So we've got Europa. Yep, we're getting plenty of Europa surface ice. I'm not sure what else we get from Europa, but what we can do, of course, is to set up a, a cache. And we'll put all of that Europa stuff into this cache. Well, let's just go downstairs. Well, I think I've got them over here, haven't I, for the Europa, for all my bits and pieces. Actually, I've got a cache already set up. So all I need to do here is to put on that an X and it's, I haven't got one with me of course. I would take a storage bus. And they're upstairs. I should have some storage buses in here. How many storage bus? Just one. Interesting, I'll have to make some more. Anyway, I shall do that between now and the next episode. So let's put on here and of course I haven't got any rock with me to tell you what I want to put in, never mind can I get it from here I think not so easy, let's just turn on this one I think that's the place there yep, fantastic so let's go back and get some Europa ice That was IC, wasn't it? It's not right, IS. This one. I'll take one of those. Actually, I do have some with me. We'll put it on that one there. And we shall set the priority to being one. And that should start to fill in. Indeed, it is. There we go. So, that's it. Next time, well, you saw there were two other places to go to, so I think we'll be heading off to there. I'm just deciding what to do about the um, matter fabricator. Could make one, or we could just get one from using the RF. So, until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.